Back in the early 80s, Atari had its hands in everything, including comic books. Its Atari Force line was so popular, they got their own game. Tonight, we're playing Atari Liberator. When Atari was on top of the world, it had its hands in every single type of merchandising opportunity available, and it was being courted by both major comic book entities, Marvel and DC. Ultimately, DC won the bidding war, and it began releasing Atari Force Comics. Based on the success of the Atari Force Comics, Atari released an arcade game, Atari Force Liberator. The original DC Atari Force was a team of humans from different nations using the multi-dimensional starship called Scanner-1 to search for a new planet for humanity to inhabit as the Earth was facing ecological devastation. The team was handpicked by the shadow organization Atari, the Advanced Technology and Research Institute. It consisted of Martin Champion as mission commander, Lydia Perez as pilot and executive officer, Mohandas Singh as flight engineer, Lee San O'Rourke, the security officer, and Dr. Lucas Orion as medical officer. A semi-sentient alien creature named Hooka, because of the noise he made, later joined as a team mascot. Atari never wanted to shy away from co-branding, immediately wanted to release arcade games that followed the comics under the Atari Force label. Following the story of the comic titles, Codename Liberator, Atari released Atari Force Liberator, a reverse missile command with a trackball, fire button, and a shield button. The player controls a coordinated attack from four starships at the corners of the screen. The primary target of the attack are enemy bases on a rotating planet in the center of the screen. The trackball is used to move a cross-shaped cursor. The fire button fires missiles at the cursor's location from your closest ship, and the shield button activates a force field around your ships. The shield can only take four hits each round, and the count is shared between all ships. The game, based on a relatively limited comic run, was not a massive success, and less than 1,000 units were released by Atari. But now, it is considered an all-time classic. According to Free Play's research, the number of playable Atari Force Liberators might be less than three dozen, and based on that same research, we've discovered that the game at Free Play Richardson might be the nicest example in existence. As such, Freeplay has recently allowed the marquee and the cider of the game to be photographed and scanned in high resolution so that a high quality reproduction may be produced. If you're interested in playing the best condition Atari Force Liberator on the planet, come to Freeplay Richardson, where we have nearly 100 amazing rare arcade games, including Atari Force Liberator. To stay up to date on all things free play and for access to special giveaways, tournaments, and prizes, like this video and subscribe to our channel.